Greetings for this evening. We're starting up another batch of sauces here. I got a four bottles. Uh, I'll probably get some more. But for now, I got four set up here. I'm gonna try. These are all pretty commercial varieties, so I'm not expecting anything outrageous. I've tried them all, so they're I know they're fairly good. But now that I'm in analytical mode, we'll figure out what's going on with all of these. I have Valentina Salsa Picante, a Mexican variety. I picked this up at Walmart, so I mean, it's probably pretty widely available. Uh, ingredients are water, chili peppers, vinegar, salt, spices, and sodium benzoate. Spices on this one... It's a Mexican one. I've tasted it already, and I, it tastes kind of cumin-like, but we'll give it a shit. Okay. Here we go. Da -da -da. Load it up. Salty. Mm. He kicks in all at once as soon as you have the sauce. Tongue's got a fairly good background glow back of my lips alright mm. mm -hmm. nice effervescent vinegary flavor brings out it's almost it's almost like cloves Faintly cumin like. Maybe nutmeg? I don't know. It's an intriguing blend of flavors, though. It's pretty decent. It's all. Yeah, the glow's almost already dissipated. Faint warmth. And it's another one that's kind of black peppery in the background. More than chili pepper burn. I'm a little congested too, so it's harder for me to taste the subtleties. <laughs> yeah. Not too bad. Yeah, cloves, nutmeg, something around that, that type of spiciness. Not really any cumin-like undertones. F maybe faint, but it's, it's really... More of like a nutmeg clove. So yeah. Valentina regular hot sauce. It's not too bad. It's pretty decent. I'm going to find some good stuff to pair that with. Probably Spanish rice would be, it would be good splashed on there. Some with a bed of beans or some sautéed steak or chicken. Yeah, not too bad. Oh, and on a side note, datum. I figured out what that was. The one that was in the Louisiana wing sauce. It's a chemical that they use in breads, apparently. Uh, Gives it a protein networking ability, I, according to the description I found, that uh, allows the proteins to alter the texture so that it's really soft 
and springy, but is also really hearty and yeah, that's basically what it is. It stands for diacetyl tartaric acid ester of monoglyceride. That's a mouthful to say. But yeah, so that's the final note. And on the Valentina regular hot sauce or salsa picante, according to the label here, Mexican hot sauce, it's got a good spicy combo. Low end, as far as the burn goes, spiciness wise, um, the seasonings they use in it are pretty good. I t I detect cloves or nutmeg or both. Uh, maybe cumin, maybe some black pepper and garlic, but there's not really all that much uh, besides the clove and nutmeg that I can detect readily. Maybe when I'm less congested, I'll give it another go, and I might add an addendum to one of my future videos. But for now, the Valentina, yeah, it's pretty good. A little salty at first, but but the brininess of the vinegar kicks in, and then the seasonings and the and the peppery sensation takes that over so it's not too bad for a finish.